No. Calvin, it doesn't work that way. That man is... Listen to me. Stop. Listen. That man is your boss, and you need to apologize. It doesn't matter. You were in the wrong. Hello? Hello? God damn it. Sorry about the language, Red. My crazy son won't listen to reason. I'm a member of that club, too. I know about Hart and his sons. That's why I'm here. He knows my flock is traditional. He needs to respect that. Yeah, it's a new day, but God's law remains what it has always been. Before it was called, I might have. Sorry, John Gaines. Reverend Dr. Myra Moore at your service. It must be a burden taking on everyone else's problems. You're just one man. When do you get relief? You got bills too. Gas prices keep going up. Interest rates on mortgages are out of control. No one would blame you if you took a little out of the plate every now and then just to- Let me stop you right there, brother. I would never do that. I'm not saying you would, but I'd be tempted. Under normal circumstances. I'm proud of this, but I did have a little emergency last month where I might have borrowed to help a member out with a misunderstanding with some not so understanding folk. Mm. I believe the brother learned his lesson. That's what I'm talking about. Always doing for others. My commitment to my flock demands it. I don't know how to be any other way once I was reborn in the light. Yeah, even so, it's got to be distracting looking out from up there and seeing all of those beautiful women. <laughs> some of them look like they just rolled in from the club the night before. Wearing napkins and pieces of string. To yourself, Gaines. <laughs> I did it again, didn't I? Forgive me. But you're not wrong. But I am a married man. <laughs> but not a dead man. True. So true. You know, you would think that a son being a boy would understand, but I think it's you who should see things from his point of view. So you think I'm a bad guy too? Just what the hell are you? Nice meeting you.